With Alberta still in a state of emergency with multiple active wildfires, the mayor of Yellowhead County is calling for the provincial election to be postponed, saying the push for votes slowed down much needed help like imposing a fire ban or securing emergency funds. The reason that it was that slow was because of this election again. I think we need all these politicians to roll up their sleeves, get back to work, and the only way this is going to happen is if we postpone the election. The election is still slated for May 29th, so how would that happen? It would be, you know, if we've lost voting places, if uh, people have been evacuated and don't have access to voting, if we're not able to offer voting uh, in the places that they've been evacuated to. Robin Bell with Elections Alberta says many factors are considered when deciding to postpone an election in ridings where voters have been displaced. If that happens, the province's chief electoral officer would apply to the Court of King's bench to delay the vote. Only in electoral divisions impacted by the fires, but it might mean not knowing who forms government on May 29th. A new election date would be set and that needs to happen within six months. So it would be similar to a by-election. This comes as candidates in regions impacted by wildfires have suspended campaigning. I reached out to candidates from both sides of the Legislative Assembly who have suspended campaigning. In a statement, the United Conservative Party telling me as far as they know, the election is still happening on May 29th. The Alberta NDP telling me similar in a statement as well. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.